This is the Bowmaker Home Theater Projector Model C9. Let me just put this down so you guys can get a reference of how big this is. In terms of distance, if you want a 50 inch screen size, you want to be about five feet away. Uh, and if you want a 150 inch screen size, you want to be about 14 and a half feet away. This is the Bowmaker Home Theater Projector Model C9. The native resolution of this projector is 720p. Which it does support upsampling, it's 1080p. This particular projector allows you to stream with Wi-Fi, so you connect directly to the projector. What is going on All right, here? so we're increasing the volume right now. I'm so busy, I'm slammed. Don't mess with me, because I will kill you and everybody you love. Well, this is a terrible game. <laughs> but that's all I could get right now from uh, YouTube for you guys. So it's got screen mirroring, higher brightness, better color. So the biggest issue sometimes is that these projectors have really terrible external speakers. The thing with these portable units is they're just getting smaller and smaller while maintaining the same level of lumens or even higher at some point. First thing, I like the white lens cap on it. Now, obviously, some things that have to have it is there's got to be a focus and then the other one's a keystone. So this one's on two. Sometimes there are separate knobs, like one's underneath. Quarter inch thread. There's another kind of a thread in here. It definitely fits two different types of uh, tripods. Uh, light source is LED. Power on, go back, and then your arrows. Yeah, it seems like a very intuitive trackpad, like side to side, back to up. okay. Uh, so HDMI, 2.2 HDMI. Uh, your power source, oh, they gave you a video cables, your remote, and they gave you a little tiny, tiny, tiny little, little tripod. You can at least have a little bit of uh, an angle, right? Okay, what else do we have? We've got a uh, little rag to clean, and then we've got two user manuals. This projector actually already has wireless capability built in where you didn't install the app. So we're just going to connect the Chromecast just to get the, the visual. All right, so that's on. Now let's turn this on. And now we are going to project. This is how we're adjusting the focus. And then we can adjust the keystone later. All right, so this is our projector. Like I said, right now we are about, what, 20 feet away or so. This is the fence. Pretty good lens, pretty good brightness. That is pretty sharp. Let's play something. All right, so this is the trailer. Let's see if we can increase the volume here. Okay. Wait a minute. You guys the real event. Don't mess with me, because I will kill you and everybody you love. So there is a lot of bass in these speakers, definitely. It's not as loud as I'd like it to be, but it's still pretty freaking good. The great thing is, it's got the option to plug in any auxiliary, and as long as you have a FM transmitter, you can connect it to, to a Bluetooth um, speaker anywhere in the house or anywhere outside as well. Hey, what's up guys? It's Tom Holland here, welcome. Now, if this were on a white sheet, it would be even better. Unfortunately, we don't have a white sheet yet, but we're, we, we are gonna be setting it up, so very impressive. All right, so this is what a game would look like outside if you're playing it. In terms of distance, if you want a 50 inch screen size, you want to be about five feet away. Uh, and if you want a 150 inch screen size, you want to be about 14 and a half feet away. There is deep bass coming out of the speaker, although if you're outdoor and it's quiet, you're not on a busy street, it will work. However, if you do have lots and lots of noise around, you probably wanna be gathered around closer than further away. But of course, it does have an auxiliary out, which means you can connect this to external speakers or use a transmitter and stream out to Bluetooth speakers anywhere around you. This particular projector allows you to stream with Wi-Fi, so you connect directly to the projector using the connection settings on your iPod or iPhone or your Windows PC, your MacBook, or your phone. Here is your lens, 50,000 hours. Here is your keystone, this fat knob here. Right beside it is your focus. On the front, we also have the infrared for your remote. Underneath, you've got a little kind of a tripod right here. Now, this is mountable through a quarter inch thread as well so you can attach it to any sort of ceiling mount there are rubber 
booties here. The light source is LED. This is model number C9. Power input is AC100. Moving on to the side here, you've got your two HDMI ports, your, your headphone speaker out or auxiliary, and then you've got your AV, which means you can connect uh, old, old style Nintendos, old game consoles, uh, VCRs and things of that nature. And then you've got your two USB. So if you have a Chromecast, for example, you don't want to use screen mirroring, uh, then you can very easily just connect the Chromecast into here and then use the USB as a power uh, adapter. On the back, they also provide you to a VGA port for presentation if you want to connect your laptop. However, with screen mirror mode, if you have Windows or an, uh, a MacBook, then you can directly through Wi-Fi stream right into this projector. And then here's the speaker. Uh, plenty of uh, options here on the remote. Here's your input source. This is your menu. Here's your return. Move left, move right, up, down. Okay, rewind. Fast forward, power switch, and mute, and then your volume buttons. It's powered by two batteries, which are not included with the remote. The native resolution of this projector is 720p, which is 1280 by 720 pixels. It does support upsampling 1080p. The aspect ratio is 16 by 9 or 4.3 on auto adjust. It's got a focus that you manually adjust. Keystone is plus or minus 15 degrees. Projection mode can be front, rear, or ceiling. The speakers on this unit are only 3 watts times 1. Power supply is regular AC100. The photo formats supported are JPEG, JPEG, PNG, bitmap, and the audio format supported by the SD card or a USB is MPEG-1, MPEG-2, MP3, LPCM. Uh, video format supported, yes, it does play MP4s, which is awesome, AVIs, LFLVs, MOVs, 3GPs, uh, and so on and so forth. So in conclusion, if you're looking for a gaming or a film screening projector for your garage, outdoor space, or even into the basement home theater, this is definitely something you want to consider. Definitely indoors, you want to get yourself a white screen projector screen, or just paint the wall white, or paint the fence white, and you're going to still get a very extremely good coloring and a giant screen for a very minimal price. That's my video. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one.